Almighty Father, we worship and reference you. Thank for this glorious time of our third day of our program. Read the word with delight. O Lord, speak to us. Give us understanding. Explain perfectly to us on the word of how we are supposed to be positioned correctly at the light of the word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is the third day of our outreach. Read the word outreach. And the theme of this year is read the word with the light. So by the grace of God, we want to see Matthew chapter 5 verse 15. And the topic is the light on candlestick. Let me read from that verse uh, 15. Matthew 5 15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Now, the word that verse starts with neither, that means they don't do it like that. There are other things not to be done, but you can light a lamp. And you put it ah, on a bushel, either in a basket or somewhere hidden. But the correct thing is to put it on the stand, on the table, or where you have actually made for it as a stand, so that we can give light conspicuously to everybody in the house. So now, summarily, we Christians are not supposed to be hidden. We are supposed to be, our life, what we profess as Christians, supposed to be showing, lightening, and actually giving light to those in darkness. We can't say we are Christian and be lightning. So, in that place, it's first of all make us to see that mm -mm, you don't do this. Then he told us that it's not supposed to be here, but it's supposed to be positioned well on the candlestick on the lampstand then it will not be able to give light to the everybody in the house so that it will be what people are looking up to and they want to benefit or learn from so today as we have looked at it that neither do men light a candle even men they will not like a candle so if we we are not correctly positioned there's a problem and if we are not finding ways to be positioned well as Christian, then we should check. It's better to go back to Calvary because if men will not light a candle and put under a bush, how much more? How much more with those who are actually with God Himself, do actually lighten people, make them to be seen all over the world? If our light is not shining. If the word of God is not passing through to other, if the life is not introduced to Christ, if we are not an example that they see and they subject and submit to Christ, then we are not well placed. We are not well positioned. Something is not right. Maybe the word of God is not there. Our prayer is low. Our lifestyle is not showing Christ. We need to go back to our knees and pray. If sin has entered, because sin will not allow a correct position or placement of the life of a Christian will be hidden because some things will be covering our light up because the light is not beaming. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. It is very important that we actually look at this word and actually make right our life. I pray the Lord who call us from darkness will make us the light to the world in Jesus' name. Three points we want to see today. Number one, Candle placement as a lesson. Number two, correct position of a lamp. Then number three, continuous publication, publishing uh, the light. Continuously publishing the light. It's not. It's not supposed to to stop. It's not supposed to be uh, something that you 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 you. You, that is, you get one to one place and it can continue. It's supposed to be a continuous exercise. Our life is not supposed to be a dying on the way, quenching on the way, because it's the light of God and supposed to be continuous. Now, when number one is candle placement as a lesson, lesson. Neither do men light a candle 
and put it under a bushel. So the lightning of a candle, the place of a candle, where candle is supposed to be, where is supposed to be in the house, when you light a candle, what do you do? If you put, if you even come, if you put under the bed, it will destroy it. So it's supposed to be well placed. Why are we not well placed? Why are we wrongly placed? Why are we not in the right place? Why are we not positioned in the right place? We need to check our life. Why we as Christians supposed to be light and not well positioned in the country, in the continent, and in the world? Something is wrong. Because if our light become darkness, and the Bible to Jesus even told us that even if the whole eyes, even the single, and the whole body will be full of light. So that means the placement is wrong. If our body is not full of light to beam to the world, check our life, check our, our living, check our lifestyle, and when we check our positioning, we even need to look at our beginning. Are we really, do we begin with Christ? Do we really, do we renounce restitute what's supposed to be done? Are we on the right table? Because God will not do the wrong thing. Something might be wrong somewhere. Maybe we didn't confess or we confess, we return back to the vomit or we are friendly with the world or righteousness there. So we cannot really carry our banner and show it and display it well, I pray. God will allow us to display the banner of the light of Christ vividly in Jesus' name. Let's go to point number two. Correct position of the life. Now, now said, he said, and it, he said, it, it doesn't put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. So, the correct position of a lamp is supposed to be on a candlestick. It has been, it has been, it is normal to light a candle because of it's dangerous to put it under somewhere. And apart from that, it's, it's not, you put it under a pocket or, a, or something, bucket or basket or something will cover it up. We not allow that light to blossom. Don't be caught in the web of wrong ministry. Don't be caught in the web of wrong ministration. Don't be under those who do not, who are not the light, but they present to be light. Fake light. They will cover you up. You will not be able to blow some. Today, there will be change in Jesus' name. We will check our life. We look at it. Jesus, who called us, we look unto him. We are told that the light in us will shine well. Let's look at Exodus. Please, let's look at the, uh, the, the writing about uh, the candle and the candlestick and the placement and the positioning. Exodus chapter 40, verse 4. He said, And thou shalt bring in the table, <laughs> and set it in order, and set in order the things that are to be set in order upon it. Can you see? And thou shalt bring in candlestick and light the candle thereof. Can you see the, the right positioning? Table is there for what's supposed to be doing. Everything is arranged in order. And thou shalt bring, when you have arranged everything, everything is in order, then you will now bring in the candlestick and light the lamp thereof. You see, everything is set. Everything is going around. So when they now, when God has made everything right and you are not converted and you become the light, you are, number one, you are converted in salvation and it's not ended there. Your internal, internal purity, which is sanctification, is done. Then, as a result of that, you are now be able to see Holy Spirit will now put you and help you to be positioned to be a lamp, a light to the world. But if everything is not done correctly or in order, you'll be wrongly position i pray the lord will make us to be correctly positioned in the name of jesus let's go to point number three uh continuous publishing the light continuously publishing the light leviticus let's go to leviticus chapter because the bible says in our reading before we go to leviticus um, matthew chapter 5 by 50 say neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush but on a candlestick that's the correct positioning and give it so it now function continuously it's not only functioning temporarily he said he gives Give it light unto all that are in the house. So if you are in the community and the people have not known Christ, they have not seen the light, you need to check our life. If you are in the country and you are still there, it's not you are not eroding it. You are not telling people about it. You are not publishing Christ because we shall not die but live. 
to proclaim, to publish the name of the Lord, to talk about the word. We are, we are supposed to be in the company of those who are great that are publishing the word continuously. We are not supposed to publish today and, and say, ah, you are tired. Some people do it for 10 years, some do it for 15 years, so, but when you are still alive, nothing stops you. Even on your bed, when you are even, let's say you are old and you are there, the word will still be beaming out. In any, in any function, your money will do it, your 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 word your your word we do it what you have written the books you have written we do it then of the message you have done we do it until it will continue you don't stop that's why I say continue publishing the light and let's look said he give light to all that in the house if this house had it in your office they will hear it everywhere they will hear it it's not just for one position one particular place in the street outside the street because he said you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you shall be witness you start from actually in your small Judea, in your Jerusalem, you go to Judea, you go to Samaria, to the uttermost part of the world. Everybody in the house, everybody all over the world, they will hear through you. And I pray today, if you have been silent, if you have been silenced, if you are actually, you have been uh, too, too myopic, you can't see far, if you have been too... Um, Pessimistic, pessimistic. If you have been somebody who has been looking at and um, pitying yourself for one thing or the other today, the Lord Jesus Christ will beam the light through you in Jesus' name. If there have been problem of actually wrong placement, which we have learned from, there will be right placement of our life, of our soul, being saved, of our soul, of our the internal, internal purity, and we are able to live a, a life that is actually only spirit expectant, so that when we are actually correct positioned for the Holy Spirit to feel us. We fill the whole world. We fill the whole house with the light of God in Jesus' name. But let's learn from the basis in the book of Leviticus chapter 24 and in verse 3 to 4. Are you there? Open to Leviticus and let's see chapter 24 from verse 3 to 4. Let's see 3 to 4. He said, Without the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation shall Aaron order it from the evening unto the morning. Can you see the long time? Evening to the morning. They are not, it's not ceasing. It's a seamless thing. It's a continuous thing. He said, Evening unto the morning. Before the Lord continually, it will not cease. It will not stop. It will not, it will not quench. It has to continue. It has to be odd. It, as it be ordered, it will move on. It will be shiny and be, be there. It shall be a statue forever in your generation. Can you see? In the generation you fall, a statue that be made, that you be the light, continuous burning light for the world to see Christ, for the Lord to come to Christ. It's not stopping. Verse 4, it shall order the lamps upon the pure candlestick, not a dirty one, pure candlestick. When the light is upon you because you represent the carrier of the light and you have to be pure. And that's why there is need for internal purity so that the, the inch, the, your light that is lighting will not be discouraged, will not be dirty because dirty things, so you quench the quench the, the, the light. You will not lubricate where the fire, where the light is being greeted and coming out and moving out. He said before the Lord Continually. That's why she continues publishing the light. Do not say you are tired or weary because you will not. They that scatter abroad, they went everywhere preaching the word because the light is in them. They have been giving, they have been driven. They live, they were converted, they, they were placed well, they learned from Jesus and they were well placed. Then there was the way correctly positioned, actually in the sanctification, in purity inside, so that they were expectant of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit came, they became no more coward. They be no, no more people that are that are cringy. They are no more happy that are actually they are speaking with low voice. That the Bible said when they saw them, they speak with authority. When this way are not learned that they be heard, they have been with Jesus. I will be with Jesus, the light. So when you have been with Jesus, you'll be rightly, you be correctly placed and positioned. And you can now be somebody who is continuously eroding and publishing and giving the news out to the world. I pray the good news throughout shall go around the world in Jesus' name. Can we be ready to pray? Say, check your life. Why am I not well positioned? Why am I under a bushel? Why am well? Then you look at it. I'm supposed to be on candlestick, giving out to the old house. Why is it not like that? Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't do it. Even so, I don't even. I don't feel. I don't feel elated. I don't feel elated to move on and to preach the gospel, to talk to people about Christ. Continuously, you will do it. Unceasingly, unstoppingly. I pray a seamless power to preach the gospel, to read the word, to light, to be a candle, to be a, a lamp that is on candlestick and give the light to the earth. It shall come upon us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for your love and for teaching us, training us, giving us a lesson to be correctly pleased. In the Lord Jesus Christ, 
confessing, repenting, renouncing, restituting, and giving and living a life that has forsaken sin. Then we pray that God internally we are purified because this is the will of God, even as sanctification, that we abstain from fornication. We know how to possess a vessel in no no and not in lust or concupiscence, which you uh, address in not of concupiscence as gentle, we do not know God. We have not called unto a cleanup unto unto holiness. I pray in that holy living, we'll be able to shoot out, we'll be able to give out the word of God, the truth of God, the light of God to the whole world, so that the whole house, they will, they will actually examine us and see us as ambassadors. See, this new creature in us, what things has passed away, what we going This is our, our approach, our attitude, our response, our love for that donation, our ascent, that we see that is resembling Christ, our ability to divorce information, is to disseminate information of Christ to people in a unique way. Even Lord Jesus from today, you will help us. You will hold our hand, you will utterly subdue the kingdom of darkness and evil and all those that will not allow the light to come out, all those who are covering, all the bushel, all the under the table, oh Lord, you will take it away and you will shine to the world to see and Christ will be seen in us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.